Uh, this is James Calm, and due to inclement weather, I'm not riding my bike today, but uh, we're reporting from North 11th Street here in Williamsburg. Today we're going to take a visit to the Temporary Museum of Painting, and they've got a show on called Continuum. Let's take a look. Here's Kathy Quinlan, the uh, curator and uh, director of the Temporary Museum. Hi, how are you? Custodian. And custodian. Mind if we have a little chat? The idea of the uh, Continuum show was to have uh, a couple of pieces of work by various artists, but the works were separated by 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 years. This is a Don Clement drawing ballpoint pen on paper. This is a Greg Kuratek painting. Actually the uh, the Temporary Museum is uh, one of the most interesting architectural uh, galleries in Williamsburg. It's in a landmark building here. This is a painting by Laura Newman. Kathy Quinlan. My name is Kathy Quinlan and I've started the Temporary Museum in order to show painting, which I think there's never enough shown of. And you're a painter yourself? And I'm a painter myself. I also show my own work sometimes in order so I can at least see it with other painters. And this show is an early work and a recent work from nine artists. And uh, this is a Jacques Rochester. This is her um, recent work. and. Tony Martin, Lauren Monk, Adam Simon. Oh, uh, maybe I, I've gotten a little bit ahead of. This is the Tony Martin piece here. Now, this, this is the newer piece, or is, I guess these are all the newer pieces are in this room. Okay. And that's the Lauren Monk piece, and Adam Simon. It was very nice. You also had a, uh, a panel discussion with all the artists in here a couple of weeks ago. It was very nice. We must have had about 40 people that came by and saw that. And uh, Rack Straw Downs. Rack Straw Downs. This is uh, one of his landscape Tom, drawings. Tom from life in uh, Presidio, Texas. And Laura Newman. This is an interesting piece because she's got some, uh, is this flocking or some well, kind of glitter. glitter, mica, she's added to the paint. But I mean, painting is not more interesting because it has glitter added to it. Is it going to be in general? Well, in that I don't see painters paintings with with glitter or things on them all the time, but I do like uh, people that are sort of using a little bit different materials and taking some chances and uh, 
sort of making un, unexpected things happen. And this is a oh, painting by better. by Larry Webb. More lights. Uh, actually, I'm doing pretty well here. Okay. I, I talked to Larry. He said that he actually has his own paint grinder, which I think is a you know, it's a great thing if you can uh, if you can manage. And here is an early Don Clemens. This is from 1991. This is the early Jack Rochester. She's got a very, very nuanced uh, palette. Confident painting in the show because this is when painting, painters were confident. 1961. 1961, and everyone's everyone's become more uh, doubting, or may, maybe they've got more questions since then. Definitely, they're all trying to reinvent it now. I mean, I think that's necessary too. Even Tony. This is Greg Quatek. Well, I think one of the things that's wonderful about the uh, Temporary Museum of Painting is that you really have kind of a, uh, a salon here, and uh, not only can you come and uh, look at the paintings, but you can sit around and hang out with other painters and have discussions and drink a cup of tea or coffee or have a beer. And, and I think no, we need places like... Beer. All right, no beer. <laughs> it's a very nice place to hang around with other painters and sort of discuss these problems about what's happening with painting. And just as a as something to wrap up with, what do you think the uh, the main problem facing painters today is? Talked a little about them people losing confidence or having questions. What do you think the main problem facing painters today is? Give me a second. Um, um, like a dialogue uh, that happens between the paintings. So you think that part of the problem is that people are not concentrating enough on painting and that uh, it's just one of many, uh, many mediums that you can use or? Yeah, I think painting is a language of itself and it's, uh, you know, when it has a group mind and now and the only thing you see are, you know, like a token painter of this, you know, here and there with a, you know, a signature style and a, you know, and a signature of subject matter. What would you like? Uh, what would you like to accomplish with your your project here at the Temporary Museum of Painting? I'd like to get painters interested in each other's paintings. I think that sounds like a good uh, good idea to me. Anyway, this is James Calm and uh, Kathy Quinnen from the Temporary Museum of Painting in North Williamsburg.